So I was very excited to open up this package this week that I got in the mail from Germany. These are two German telephones. One of them is from West Germany, and the other is from East Germany. And it's really cool. I, everyone I've shown these to so far, I asked them to guess which one is the East German and which one is the West German. And everybody points to this one and says, that's the East German. And I asked them why, and they say, well, it just looks more communist. <laughs> so other than the, the general differences in the looks, there is a remarkable difference in quality between them. And by the way, I bought these from a fellow member of this group, uh, Christoph Krause. He uh, runs a website. Um, I'll tag him um, above the video. So if he wants, he can link his website. But I bought these from him. It took about a month to get them because they shipped from, from Germany. But they finally came in. And I'm really, I, I'm really happy with them. They're really, really cool. And I just love the looking at the differences between them, especially when you open them up. Oh, and let's try the dials real quick. You can tell the difference in the dials, too, very easily. This one's very silent when you turn it, but then kind of scratchy on the way back. Whereas this one makes these wonderful clicking sounds. It's really cool. So inside the West German model, this is the FETOP uh, 611. The FETOP stands for Fern. Fernsprecht Tischapparat, which is a, it's a far speak uh, table apparatus or, or table phone. And you can see this one is really neat. There's a lot of modular connections in there that are easy to remove and replace. Everything is bolted down pretty well. In general, there's, there's a lot of quality going on here. And then you have this removable back piece to access the connections for the, uh, the phone line and for the uh, line to the handset. And again, you have another modular connection here. This one is hardwired. And here's the uh, model, the FATOP 6112A. I haven't found the year on this one yet. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like it covers a port for some other alternative connection. And I don't know if this yellow wire is supposed to be disconnected. Over here. Uh, hopefully, uh, Christoph, you can answer that for me. But overall, this is just really cool. I've noticed it's got a either one large bell or or some kind of housing with multiple bells in there. I don't know. I haven't taken that part apart yet. And you've got a, a dial for the for how loud the ringer is. And a port for the sound to come out. It is missing one screw though. Let's see if I can find one of those to replace it. But overall just really cool, really cool phone. I'm not familiar with the connector that it came with. On the end, this isn't the uh, standard German connector that I'm that I was expecting. I don't I don't know what this is for, but it, it has some kind of tension relief built into it. Looks like maybe it was meant to be. I don't want to say hardwired because this is sort of a modular type connector, but it looks like it's meant to go into some kind of box. Okay. In contrast, the East German phone does not feel anywhere near as well made. 
when you take this apart, a lot of things are just kind of snapped in with plastic tabs. And it makes it very easy. It doesn't make it very easy to take it apart, but keeping it together long enough to put the housing back on can be difficult. And when I first got it, I took it out of the box. The uh, rotary had come loose, the rotary dial. Must have been uh, some kind of bump in the shipping, um, which is hard to believe because it was packed very well. But this was loose, it was just lying here, you know, like this, and so the rotary wasn't working right. This part here also is just, it just comes right off. And I found about half the time when I try to put the top back on, it, it messes this up and I have to take it off and then realign it and everything. This part also was, was not seated properly. Again, it's very... I mean, the, I think it seems like the slightest bump could throw some of this stuff off. But still, it is really cool to, to just look at it and see the differences between the East and the West. I would turn it upside down, but half of the <laughs> components would fall off. And see, uh, I'm trying to put this back on and the hooks aren't wanting to line up. There we go. So, here's the bottom. Now, this is really interesting. I don't know why they've done it like this, but there's these, I guess, insets for the, for the bells. Really interesting. I've never seen anything like that. And then we have here a Alpha. That's the model. It's called Alpha. Type 550. Uh, build year is um, March uh, 1985. Made in GDR. German Democratic Republic. It's very lightweight. A lot of, uh, a lot of these. I guess that's for sound to come through. But it, it also just makes it a lot lighter. It's got two screws, which are kind of hard to get to with my uh, really fat screwdriver. I have to pull the tip out most of the way to use it, but still really, really cool. It's my first uh, foreign phones that I've bought. And I'm really happy with them. Here's the, uh, I believe this is just the regular West German connector, not the uh, typical East German connector, which I believe had. It looked, it looked similar, but it's, I think this part was longer. And I think it had uh, one or two extra pins on it. But this is the normal modern West German connector. Or now it's universal German. And this this and this connector both look new, like like maybe they were replaced. This doesn't look nearly as used. It's got some scratches on it, which are uh, kind of hard to see. But overall, it's in very good condition. This one's a little more stuffed up. You can see more evidence of use on it. But overall, really, really cool, really good condition overall. And they're both really neat. And I'm really happy I got them. So thank you so much, Christoph. This, these are awesome. I look forward to testing them out on an active phone line once I figure out how I'm going to uh, use these connectors, which I, I specific he offered to to put on my, uh, regular um, like RJ11 type connectors, but I, I told him not to because I wanted the uh, the German style for for the novelty of it. Just as I think it's it's cool to be able to show off the the different types of connectors that. Uh, 
we don't really ever see here in the US. So thanks again and um, if anyone wants to see a video of these working when I do get them working, uh, leave a comment and if there's interest I'll, I'll make another video like that once I get them to work. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.